everybody, Jo here. Thanks for popping in again. As always, lovely to be able to spend some time with you. Now, today, quite sad really, because it's the last page on my calendar and I've really enjoyed doing this. So, as always, I'm going to show you what I've done in my Lavinia calendar and then I'm going to make a similar sort of design on a card. Two reasons. One, if you haven't got the calendar, I don't want you missing out. So you can make a card design. But also, and the best bit, I get to make another Christmas card. Which, I've got to be honest, at this time of year is always a bonus. Because I don't know about you. And yes, I know there are some of you that are really organised, but I'm always last minute. Other things seem to get in the way. Anyway, so this is my design for December. And I'll try and show you the whole thing. So they're the beautiful shops at the bottom, look. And I've just added some colour to the sky and the holly along the bottom just to make it look a lovely beautiful piece that all goes together so when it's on the wall look at that it'll just look beautiful now I could have added some extra stenciling in the background but I didn't want it to be too busy I just love the hanging ornament on its own with our lovely sort of florals top and bottom so that's the idea anyway she says and i'm thinking i'm going to create it on a seven by seven piece of multifarious card i'm going to try and pop my calendar up so i can see it just to give me a fighting chance of doing a, a similar design and i started off as i quite often do with the lovely circle the acetate circle masks and I'm going to use my element sink and the blue at all for this. So it's just deciding where I want my hanging bauble. And I'm thinking sort of middle, maybe down there. I want room for my lovely foliage. So I'm going to go for there. And I've got my stencil brush that I use for my blue. And as always, dabbing it off on the lid. And just start always on the mask. And again, we've done this so many times before. I'm just going to go round. I don't want to come too far in. But I want the colour accentuated at the two side pieces. Because that's where I'm going to see. Because I'm going to put my foliage top and bottom. I really want the lovely colour just to show up more at the sides. So it'll pop a bit. And then we'll come in with the moon. And we'll just pop that about there. And we'll just add a little bit more colour to that sky. Lovely. We'll pop the lid on and we'll put that out of the way. We'll give those a quick wipe and pop them back. And then onto our stamping. So I could draw my um, sort of hanging for my hanging bauble, but what I'm going to use is a lovely large swing bed look. I'm thinking this, I love this design. And I'm going to go for the green. So in the Versafine Claire today, I'm going to use two colours, one the pine cone and one the shady lady, sorry, shady lane. So... You know what I'm like, she's always going to be Shady Lady in my head. So we'll ink this up. And I just want it sort of there. So how are you all doing? I hope you're having a good week. I hope you had a lovely weekend. I have had a couple of messages off a couple of you who are struggling at the minute with various health conditions and it's not easy and a couple of you are stuck in bed. Oh, look at that. Love that. And a couple of you, as I say, are stuck in bed. So, you know, thank you for joining us. And I just hope that coming in with this lovely family on here, that it makes you feel a little bit better. You know, and there is a phrase that says, you know, you do know that you are loved and you are and on here you know it's so lovely that we can spend time together 
So I hope that just helps a little. What I'm going to do now is just add my foliage top and bottom and I'm using the comb branch for this. A well used stamp this. And I'm using the, the pine cone for this. And just want to take a little bit off that stem there. And I'm going to stamp at the top first. Sort of mid-ish. Everything's an ish. And then at the bottom as well. And don't worry too much about, we're going to add some foliage. So the pine, the, this lovely um, cone branch, I always want to call it pine cone branch. You know what I'm like, how I rename things. I am sorry, Tracy. I do try and keep the names, you know, honestly, it's just my daft head. Um, so this cone branch, it's only a guide. We're going to add some foliage. So again, don't be too hung up on getting it perfect. This is just the starter of your lovely... It was when I was thinking about Christmas and I was thinking I love baubles, you know, when we add for me I love adding that extra bit at the top and the bottom. You know. I mean already when the um I think it's the older tree has its little pine cones, I collect those. I've still got some from last year. I'm a bit of a tinker like that. Carl goes mad because I do rather get a few. But I love adding things like that to designs. So I'm going to come in now with the single of the winter berry. So this is the mini one. And we'll add a few of these. And again, I'm going to use the keep to the brown for this. And I'm thinking, let's just add one there over the moon. I think that's nice. And I'm being mindful to not try and ink up the branch. I don't want too much. It's got a lovely long branch if you want to hang it. But sometimes you don't need the big stem. So again, I'm just being mindful just to take the ink off the, the long stem. And we'll have a couple on this one. And these are fabulous for colouring in. And we'll pop one here. And then we've got five. And obviously, as we know, we like our odd numbers. So we'll stop there. And we'll give that a wipe. We'll pop that over there and we'll bring in the, the mini holly again, the pound stamp, the holly. And I'm just going to turn it round. And this one, I'm going to come in with the, the shady lane, the green. And we're going to add a few on our lovely hanging bit here, look. And I don't want to overcook it. I want to see a little bit of the stem. But, but not very much. So I want the idea of it being there. I like that. So it just looks like it's that lovely holly. And then and I've got white space on this card. So I'm being mindful to watch where I put my, my arms. Again, try and get in these good habits. So we'll just build up some foliage here. And I'm just altering the angle that I have the stamp. And I'm just thinking, let's have just a little bit of second generation there. I don't want it too much there. I like that. I think I want a little second generation. There's a bit of a gap there. But sometimes first generation is too heavy. So you just need that little bit of second generation. And again, so we could do with a, a first there and then maybe just pull in the second there. And even a little bit of third there. Yeah. Right, so let's tackle this lovely one at the base. And let's have some first and some second. And do the opposite this way. And then I'm just going to turn the stamp round and actually bring this one this way so it looks now it just looks a little bit I don't know about you but we need something there don't we so I'm thinking maybe just a second generation I think balances it now this wants a 
just a tiny touch yeah so let's have a look just want a mere smidgen there yeah so we'll pop the lid on that and then I'm going to add my scene in my bauble now so I'm just going to clean my holly stamp pop that over there and I'll just turn my copy of paper over just so it's clean looks a bit better for you watching and I'm going to carry on and use my this lovely pine cone like I say for this one I really don't want to introduce any black stamping or I should say stamping in black now I'm going to come in with the little pixie houses now they're lovely these and obviously we get three so I'm going to stamp the larger one first so I'm going to put that one in the middle now these are lovely so my head might come over I'm afraid now I don't want it quite in the middle I just want to offset it a little bit I think the design will look better if it's not too almost regimented now I must admit these little houses oh these little pixie houses I don't know about yours but mine have a habit of wandering off I have to keep my eyes on them I have to keep them in a tight leash these I think they should come like a homing pigeon that they know where to come home right so that's the second one and the third little one now now again you could have quite a gathering with these you could have quite a few dwellings but i'm just going to stick with the three i don't want them all on the same level i want them to look a little bit like obviously like they live there and then I'm going to come in with a tree. There's a lovely set of stamps here called Tree Scene. And if I turn it over, look, there's a lovely row here which I've used recently. But these, they're almost the miniature trees. So they're fabulous for this. And the size is just right. So we'll come in. And I'm thinking this could even be decorated as a little Christmas tree for the, my little pixies in the pixie houses. So let's have a tree here and let's go second generation here. Then I want to add a little bit of foliage, just almost like some bushes. So I've got a piece of copy paper here. And I'm just going to use the side of the tree. I want to make sure I don't get the, the stem, the tree trunk in. And look, so that just gives us a little bit of shrubbery we'll add a little bit more there and then maybe just a little bit just the idea of some there it's a bit near the holly but that's fine so if i bring that up can you see so it just takes a little bit of that starkness away it just looks like that little bit of of shrubbery so what we'll do now we'll add a little bit of color and I'm going to use my clean colour pens and I'm going to use the lemon yellow just to add, I just want there to be somebody in my little houses so the lights are on, look so that could be any yellow, lemon yellow that's the first one I went for and then just when I've got my lovely stems up here look, these lovely swirls I've got, and again I just went for a, a light green now this one's yellow green, number 53 but any of the greens and I just want to add I didn't want it too dark but I wanted to just fill those in now again you could do it I'm thinking if you wanted you know for Christmas gold, silver just to give a little bit and then for the berries I'm going to add blue now again last time we did red berries so I thought we'll come blue this time and the blues I've chosen is number 37, which is cornflower blue. And then my light, oh, is 36 light blue. So I'm just going to build the colour up on these with some dark at the base. And then coming over the dark to just drag that colour 
and then in with the light and that'll blend beautiful and I can always go back I quite often do when I've used these pens almost I like the colour to sort of settle and merge and if I've got what I think there is a bit of a harsh line I'll pick some of the dark blue up on my lighter blue and just blend that out there we go that looks nicer and again, the light blue nib will go back to the light blue, won't affect it at all. Now this one, because I've stamped over the holly, I'll just add that a little bit more darker there. Then we've got a couple down here. So again, my dark blue. And again, this would be lovely if you wanted to decoupage them because they're a nice shape to cut out. So if you decided you wanted to colour them in and decoupage them, that would look nice. But also on a card, glossy accents over the top would look lovely too. I mean, again, so many possibilities. We've got so many lovely products we can use. But I love colouring with these, so effective. And I have to say thank you for the lovely messages of the people that have bought them and never used them before. As I say, I've used them for years and, and it's so nice that so many people are finding them now and using them. And, and we value your feedback and it's nice to know that you are pleased when you've bought them and that, you know, you are using them. Just adding a little bit more. I'm going to put the lids on and then just to add a little bit of um, shading in the bauble I'm going to come in with my, my pastel pencils and with the light blue I'm just going to add a little bit of shading just on underneath Really, just to ground everything, we're going to add some Posca for almost snow. But I just think if there's a bit of shading and almost we've got a path there, it, it just, for me, the design looks a little bit more believable. I think it's that nice frosty sort of wintry look. Now, with this being a card, I'm thinking I want a little bit of something in the background. Now, on my um, calendar, I didn't, but got a couple of stamps here, and I'm thinking winter magic. So, and again, I've got an arrow on the back, so I know I'm not going to stamp it upside down. And I think I'll come in with my... I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm going to use my elements, so don't press very hard when you use your elements. They're almost a, a foamy pad. And let's just have a look at the difference. We've got first generation there, second there. Actually, I like both. So, <laughs> this could be interesting. This could be one of those moments where, do you know what? You might say to me when I've done this, you might say, actually, we preferred it without. And then it'll be note to self, won't it? But I just think up here... little bit of that there and just over there and then again very light and a little bit there now what I don't want to do is come in with my second generation there because it's uneven where I've stamped so let's ink it up again take off the first and let's just see, I don't want to have too much, but just a little bit, I think, over here. And I'm just going to press very lightly because I just want that mere suggestion. Can you see? And it is very, very, look, that mere suggestion of the words there. Right, we'll pop that there. Now, I'm going to colour the berries. And for this, I'm going to use my glaze pen. But what you have to watch with this is um, don't smudge it. So 
you can tell I've already done that, can't you? Which is why I'm saying don't smudge it. So a little tip, I would work almost like the furthest away so you're not putting your hand over the top of it and work towards you and turn your work round. Because it is a bit of a tinker if you smudge it to cover up those red smudges, as I say, speaking from experience. <laughs> right, I think we've got all the ones. Oh, there's a couple there, she says. I think we're covered there. So now we can work our way up here. And I'm going to turn it round and do the same thing this way, look. Just work my way, coming towards me. I got one there. They are funny, these things. It's when you look back and you think, oh, I missed one. How did I miss it? Right, I think I think we've got them all there. I'm going to move this out of the way. And we're going to add some Posca now. Let's add a little bit of snow and some highlights. Now, obviously, it takes a while for all this to dry. So I would normally go off and have my cup of tea now or a cup of coffee. But I'm just going to run my heat too low for it. See if I can just force dry it a little bit because the Posca won't stay white if I put it on too, unless everything's dry. But we'll see what we can, what we can get on. And also we'll add a little bit of our lovely glitter. So we'll come in with some, I think this one's the crystal glitter glue. I love this stickles. And I'm going to come in with my, my empty wink of Stella. And again, this is the one I'm just going to use to paint with. And I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle. I could use my um, Wink of Stella, but I just want a bit more oomph with this. And I'm just adding this to the, the holly, the areas. So I'm being quiet and the um, little cones, little fur cones. So because I'm painting it on, I just find it easy for me to actually get it exactly where I want it. I don't want any on the berries. Just want it, as I say, on the holly. Just want that extra little bit of little bit of sparkle and up here on my, my lovely dangly bit. Right, so we'll give that a wipe. And then I've got a couple of Posca pens here. And one's the one. So again, I'll give it a shake. And just see if my glaze gel's dry. I can add some little white dots onto the berries. And I'm just going to add the odd one. Onto the holly. I'm not going to do them all. Just, just the odd one. And again, this is funny because you'll be able to see when you miss. <laughs> and the funny thing is, if you do miss any out, it's all when it's funny because when you don't see it, obviously you don't see it. And then when you do later, it's so obvious and you think, how did I miss that? And I'm just going to add a little bit, not too much, just a little bit on the roofs. Little bit on the trees, on my shrubbery, and then, and as I say, this might go slightly blue because the pen isn't dry. But what I'll do is I'll come back later and just go over the top again with the white. But once the pen's dry, the Posca will go on beautiful and white. So this is my one look splats. So hopefully it'll behave, as we all know, sometimes they behave better than others, don't they? So let's add some, some snow. 
and I'm just going over my holly and my berries first and then my I could put my acetate mask back on if I just wanted the snow in my dome in my bauble but I don't I want my snow right across And I think we've got a little bit on the trees and the shrubbery look. Maybe a little bit on the houses, not too much. Just need to be a bit gentle around those. And then I just want a couple of sentiments. And I think, shall I go... I quite like the one I had on the other, that fa-la-la-la-la-la-la-la. Don't worry, I won't start singing. So we'll pop that on. Ooh. That was a schoolboy error, wasn't it? I was just going to say, as always, put it on my, my scissors and it didn't stick to it. So I need to, I'm thinking I'm going to put this one up here. Just get it nice and straight. And then I think I'm going to put just for you at the bottom. Shall I? Although I like, I like hope. Oh... Do you know what? No, I'm going to go just for you. No, I don't like the colour there. Sorry. Changed my mind. That's the beauty of putting it on the scissors. So that's going back on. And I'm going to go snow. Yes, I prefer that one. The white stands out better. The white writing. And again, that's the beauty of popping it there with these scissors. You can double check, you can decide if that was really what you wanted. So that's the design on the card. Now, inside your bauble, again, we've got so many lovely stamps. You can make a different scene. You could add Pippin maybe. I was not going to use Pippin because I thought, oh, we use Pippin a lot. Well, I do. So I was going to try and be good. I like to share the stamping around. I feel for the stamps that I leave in, in the packaging. They like to be used. So I'm going to pop that there. And bring in, if I can just get it in, the one on the calendar. And I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope you have a go. I hope you have a little play around with this design. Maybe use some different stamps. But if you do, please tag me and I'd love to see what you do. So thank you for popping in. And what am I going to do next Monday? Might go back to my journal. Oh, I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Anyway, you take care. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.